The Barong Tagalog, meaning Tagalog outfit or clothing, is the national dress of the Philippines and is commonly referred to as Barong. The female equivalent of the Barong is the Barot Saya, a Tagalog Spanish contraction meaning blouse and skirt. The barong is a long-sleeve, embroidered shirt that can be worn for formal and semi-formal occasions. Originally, it was woven from nipis fabrics, which are lightweight but stiff. Nipis fabrics are made from piña, pineapple plants, or abaca, a banana plant native to the Philippines. Today, materials such as silk, cotton, and polyester can also be used. The barong is worn untucked and typically paired with black pants, dress shoes, and belt. Nipis fabrics are known for their sheer, meaning they have a low-density knit or thin threading. This gives the barong a translucent appearance, which is why an undershirt matching the color of the barong is often paired with the outfit. The modern barong had its beginnings as the pre-colonial collarless shirt called a baro, which translates as shirt or clothing. These were also made from nipis fibers and worn by both men and women. The baro was usually worn just below the waist and had long sleeves. Among the Tagalog people, the baro was dyed red and had gold trimmings, indicating the wearer of the outfit was nobility or from the warrior caste. After Spanish colonization in the late 1500s, the baro slowly evolved into the barong mahaba, or long shirt. The barong mahaba was longer than a modern barong, but often included embroidered patterns, elaborate collars, sheer fabric, long sleeves, and no buttons. By the mid-1800s, fashion trends changed the barong mahaba into a shorter version similar to today. It also lost the elaborate collars and was often paired with a bowler hat. The barong continued to be worn by both upper, middle, and lower class Filipinos. It wasn't until the American occupation in the early 1900s where the American suit known as the Americana became popular for both office and leisure. In 1953, President Ramon Magsaysay broke tradition and deliberately wore a barong Tagalog at his inauguration, while the outgoing president wore an American suit. This was seen by the world as the Philippines making a symbolic break from its colonial past, ready to forge its own future. All subsequent Filipino presidents followed the example and have worn a barong Tagalog to nearly all public and private functions. In 1975, President Ferdinand Marcos issued a decree recognizing the Barong Tagalog as well as the Barot Saya as the official national attire of the Philippines. Today, the Barong is worn with pride by Filipinos on most formal and semi-formal occasions, including important work meetings, social events, weddings, graduations, and parties. A special maraming salamat to Noble Creations Online who kindly provided me with a new Barong Tagalog since mine was 20 years old and falling apart. They are a Filipino-owned business out of California, so please be sure to check out their website. If you're interested in learning more about this topic, I highly recommend reading Dr. Stephanie Marie Ku's doctoral dissertation, Clothing and the Colonial Culture of Appearances in 19th Century Spanish Philippines, or her book, Clothing and Colony, where Dr. Ku discusses the role of clothing and appearance in the 19th century Philippine culture.